Come here. Let me see your nose. She's starting to grow out. And there's Boo the walrus. And Paris is over here. Rocky's got a little bit of fuzz on her face, not just skin. Not just skin, you got a little bit of fuzz. There's France. France of Paris. And there's Boo the walrus. Hello! Well, hi, Paris. Well, hi. Pull her off of me, boo. That's what she does. She grabs her and pulls her off of me. When she... oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Get her, boo. Get her. She's up here. Pull her off. Oh. Hi! There's chopped up nose Roxy. Uh, oh. mm -hmm. Hi, hello. <coughs> Hi. <coughs> oh, I See, there's the Roxy. Don't touch my dog's tail. Oh, Paris. She's up here. Oh, wow, 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 wow. She gets me. She gets me. See that nose, Roxy? Come here. Let me see you. See? This is uh, two days later. I just realized I got music in the background. I'll probably have to mute this. Hi, Boo, sweetie. Sweet Boo. Oh, wow, 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 wow. You jumping up here. Okay. Pressure wash my white rug and my gray rug. Day. Hey! No, no. No, boo. She's starting to get my shoes for some reason. I don't know what in the world's wrong with her. No, no. Oh, this dog. You guys didn't eat your food today. Hi, Boo. Ew, what have you been doing? Your mouth is all muddy. Hi, Paris. Let's go out in the yard and play a little while. What do you say? It's pretty weather this evening. It's about 6.30. We're not going to have many more of these days left because it's going to, the time's going to change and it's going to be cold. So we want to get out here and see if we can find a ball girl. What do you say, girls? What do you say? Watch out, Paris and Bougie. 
In case you didn't wonder, I say Paris and Bougie because I never know which one's in front of me, and this way I get the right one. Watch out. Look at your mouth, boo. Ew. Don't bark at me. Here, Shrek. You just now got fuzz on your nose. I recommend you stop. Roxy. Where's your ball? Oh, find your ball. Where's your ball? Here's a ball. No. Good girl, Paris. I tell you what, look at these holes. That's why Boo's mouth is all muddy. I cannot believe all these holes they're digging out here. Looking for moles. Look at that hole. No, no. Give me your ball, Paris. If you want me to throw it, you better give it here. Okay, watch out. Watch out. Filthy. Oh, and the winner is Paris. Paris by a nose. Hopefully there won't be any music in the background this evening. So I can actually play what's going on instead of voiceover. So uh, the other day I made a video and I never got, I never got a chance to post it. So I'm doing it again. But I was calling around the area looking for uh, groomers so that I could take my girls to a different groomer. And I could, I'm trying to find a mobile groomer. One lady I found, <clears throat> she knows the people where that. There's one of my rugs I pressure washed the other day. She knows them and she told me that they would be super disappointed to know that they lost a customer without us discussing everything with them. Well, I called back, oh, well, let, let me not get ahead of myself. I, so I told her that, uh, Paris, where's your ball? Did I lose it? There it is. Good girl. Bougie, no, your feet. Okay, give it to mom. Do you want me to throw it? Paris. Give it here. Oh, you dropped it. Okay. So, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, anyway, so she said that she would be happy to groom our girls, uh, but she had known those people for years and years. She had worked there for years. She knows most of the groomers, and she said a whole lot of the groomers that work there have been there a while. But there was two that are really, really good. And one of them was the girl we usually use. And she said, if you tell them you don't want anybody else to touch your dogs, they'll be sure. Well, Roxy's found something to roll in. They'll be sure and not let anybody else cut their hair. And uh, so she also told me about another girl that's really, really good and gets requested a lot. She said, ask for her for a substitute if you cannot get. See, look, there again, it's Paris's hair starting to grow out on her face, but no hair on her face. Roxy's is barely grown out. I posted a still picture on whatever they call that. Uh, I don't remember. Where you can post on YouTube, and I put it where the day she came home, her skin on her face was showing. It was so short. Today's been about five or six days since they did that. Uh... So, I'm losing my concentration. She said she'd be glad to, to trim them for me. And she said that she would take all three girls into her salon and do just them on a given day and not have any other uh, dogs there. And she has a helper that helps her and so on. But she said it, it's really hard on the dogs if you change their groomer, especially if they're used to that same groomer. Well, that's the only place that Paris and Bougie have ever been. 
and Roxy has been there twice. So I'm kind of torn. I mean, I ended up calling their groomer back. I told the girl I would take her advice and I would call her and let her know. But either way, I was not going to have them groomed again until December 23rd or thereabouts because their hair is so short. And uh, so, as you can see. And they're that short and winter's coming. Bougie's not as short as the other two. Their legs are not even equal. They look like I did it. You know, they're not even, their cut's not even really good. So anyway, but, um, oh, I've got to get my mind straight here. So then I took the girl's advice and I told her I'd let her know something. And I called the groomer back and the order, owner wasn't there because she's not there on Thursday. That's the day I called, last Thursday, which would be around the 20th, 21st. I don't know what they're after. But, um, so I talked to some girl. I won't say her name because they may watch this thing. I don't know. Talked to her and she almost sounded like, you know, she was nice, but it sounded like to me she put me on speakerphone right off. I think she was letting everybody in the place listen. She got to laughing a little bit when I said, you know, that this girl had shaved them when she, had, she hadn't been told to. And I said, but anyway, I've already told you all that, so there's no sense in me going into that again. I hope this video doesn't make you dizzy because I'm not going to edit this. I'm going to post it just like it is. Uh, so I talked to her a little while, and I did make an appointment for, uh, oh, I'm trying to sit down. I did make an appointment. Get down, girls. Go get your ball for uh, the 23rd of December. But I'm going to continue to look for some groomers. Hopefully a mobile groomer. And if I can find one, I'm not going to keep that appointment. I'm going to cancel it. So, see there, Roxy. She's still, look on her nose. Here, Roxy, stay still. Look at that. Is that awful? Uh, that's just from a few days of growth. Stop. Stop the arguing. Where's your where's your ball, Paris? Bring me your ball. So um, that's where I'm at now. So I guess we'll call that part two. There's Boo. Look at that face. She's been out here helping dig. Uh, I, I still I just don't feel good about taking them back to where they're used to going. And that girl did say it's better to let your dog stay with the same groomer. I said, well, are they, so you're sure they're not going to try to take it out on them because I wasn't happy. And she said, oh, no, 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 they won't. But I keep remembering that groomer that I watch online that said 90 some percent of the people she's hired to groom for her, she's had hidden cameras and they have mistreated the dogs. She's only had two employees that didn't do that. So I'm not accusing anybody, but I am suspicious and I am a little nervous about it. I guess they're going to kill each other before they go in and go to bed. It's late in the evening. I hope this isn't too dark for you guys to see. Anyway, that's uh, part of the groomer saga. Paris, bring me your ball. Where's your ball? Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get anybody. I just wanted an appointment with someone because I feel like They'll be grown out enough to maybe have their faces shaped a little bit by the time December 23rd comes. See, Paris, they've, they've cut all of hers off, but at least she wasn't down to the skin like this one was. And looking like she had the mange on her face. So, um, that's all the update is now, if, if I can quit saying um. I, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. I've been working, I, I think, Thursday and Friday. I called people all day, and I found a whole lot of groomers, but none of them are mobile, uh, mobile groomers. And so I think I can, I can get any of them in. But I like the one girl that that uh, knows that place that I have been taking them. She knows the people. She's been, uh, she's worked there, you know, for years before she started her own business. And uh, she said she felt like that they would work with me if I took them back. And I guess if I can't find a mobile groomer today, my decision would be uh, 
I'll go ahead and let them try it one more time unless something just says do not, definitely do not take them back there. Then I'll cancel. I'll take them to the girl there. But I just, I hate to do what she said, you know, keep taking them somewhere else and somewhere else because that's the only groomer that they've ever gone to. They'll perish through the rail here. Ooh, the gate squeaks. That's the only groomer they've ever gone to, and that's the one I decided to start letting Roxy go to instead of me doing her grooming. So that's that's where I'm at right now on that situation. Um, I appreciate all of the very sweet comments people have left uh, about my girls. Um, I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. I mean, even if you don't have time to watch if you can just let them play the view hours really help me i'm getting so close on my viewer hours i need more subs but i've got a few more months before i'll be overdue on that on the subscribers just trying to grow my channel for my girls so that someday they'll have possibly have healthy puppies for some awesome owners that want some healthy puppies uh, my dogs are health tested. They'll be uh, all through all their arthritis, their hip dysplasia testing, all of that by the time they're two. And I'll, I'll be sure and post every little thing that they go through, every little milestone, every little thing I do. Uh, I just found out too the other day that uh, a vet that I kind of use, <laughs> that I use, uh, somebody at the groomer was telling me that one of them put her dog to to sleep to do a spay on the dog and it died and he said that he wasn't comfortable um, doing surgery on dogs under 30 pounds and she said but why didn't he even tell me that to start with she didn't know and uh, she was very sad which understandably so so I don't know I'm, I'm, I've been wanting to find nothing but a, ver a fertility vet anyway I, I love our vet though I've not been uh, to another vet in probably 10 or 12 years. That's the vet and they're right close five minutes from my house And all that but I, I don't know with puppies. You got to be really careful with them So I don't know what to do about that either. That's something new. I found out um, So I may be searching in that but I used to use a big high dollar vet When I had my English Bulldogs and they uh, was the reason that ton was blind in one eye because our vet was not um, in the office for a while taking care of her parents and the sub she had that supposedly knew about bulldogs did a c-section on my female and the only puppy she was pregnant with ended up blind and it was her fault the vet even admitted it my vet did she sent me two emails apologizing and no I didn't sue but you can't sue for a broken heart you know I was heartbroken for him his whole life. Paris, no! See her dig? No, no! The moles are gone. You don't need to keep digging. My goodness, it's scary to walk out in this yard with all these holes. She is, she should have been named Digger and she should have been main, named Phantom because she's a phantom. I don't know about her. Okay. I'm all over the place with this thing. I don't know. Uh, I wanted to throw this video up. I didn't think it'd even be ready for a few days. But I'm going to go ahead and put it up. I'm not going to edit it. I'm going to leave it just like it was. I went out in the backyard to throw the ball. They've been outside almost all day, so they're not really, really full of energy anymore. They just mostly want to lay around and chew on stuff. And uh, Boogie's going to have to go in and get that face washed because she looks awful. And Roxy's tired because she's old. She's four years old almost. She'll be four in February. Is she just an early to bed, early to rise dog? Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I appreciate your support. I appreciate all your kind words. Thank you for watching my puppies and thank you for loving them. 11 months old and counting. Paris and Bougie with the boss dog, Roxy. Be blessed. Bye.